Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for whoever needs it. I have pulled out different oracle cards in this reading so we could guide you through uh, these oracle cards and the messages that we're going to get from these cards to help you through with whatever it is that you are dealing with in your life right now. Your current circumstances, whatever it is, be that in love, work, home life situation, whatever issues, situations that you are dealing with in your life. I hope with these messages coming from you know these oracle cards is definitely going to help you and guide you through. Um... I have pulled out different oracle cards and we have also taken two color cards as well to see which two colors could be lucky for you in this time frame as well along with the message to that as well so yeah before i dive into the reading let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are uh, resonating and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings even though like you know with these oracle messages it is definitely going to help you in one way or the other. Maybe all messages are not going to be, you know, resonating or helping you right now. But in long term, they will be very helpful for you to, to work on the things that these messages are conveying to you. So it will bring you the life that you desire. So yeah, let's start the reading. I'm going to start with the color cards first. Let's see which two colors are going to be lucky for you in this time frame. White, lighten up. Number 24. For some of you, maybe you are feeling sad, upset around something that is not going well for you right now. It's time for you to lighten up. It's time for you to brighten up your life. You are the one who has all the control in your life, uh, over your life as well. And you can switch your mood by thinking some positive thoughts as as equally. And, you know, it, it's always up to you. If, you know, if I tell you even right now to think of a happy thought, it's just going to, you know, close your eyes. Think of something that made you feel so happy and feel loved. Be that with the family member, be that with the loved one, be that with a boyfriend, girlfriend, ex, current, whatever it is, whoever it is that brightens up your day, which brings you smile, a baby, whatever it is. What can bring you happiness right in this very moment? Think of a thought. You will definitely feel good. And if I say exactly the opposite, you can still tap into that negative thought, which, which made you cry, death of somebody, whatever it is. So it's it's all in your hands. You can always lighten up. You can always brighten up your life by thinking positive thoughts. So make sure you lighten up your life with happy, positive thoughts around whatever that is happening. Just try to relax yourself, calm yourself, connect yourself to the God that you believe in and let that, you know, uh, God that you believe in take care of everything that is happening in your life. You can also light some uh, white candles in your home as well. Um, it depends on your own personal choice how long you want to burn it how long you want to you know uh, keep it lighted it's up to you but i would suggest you to you know at least for one to two minutes light white candle in your house uh especially in the room where you spend most of your time where you know in you, that will help you a lot releasing any negativity that you would be having in your life right now number 24 24 could be lucky for you as well maybe it's 24th of this month is uh, you know could be the date which is going to be lucky for you as well let's see the other card you can also wear white uh, color and clothes as well. Turquoise number 34, awaken your empathy. <clears throat> it's it's very important uh, for you to understand, like, you know, if, if you are struggling with uh, some sort of attitude coming from a person in your life, it's very important for you to understand where that attitude is coming from. And maybe you can, you can give a benefit of doubt to that person and let things unfold naturally instead of like you know you thinking uh negative or any uh you know um <sighs> thinking negative or you know just start making a story around it of your own try to try to um try to ease up around it and try to understand why this person is behaving a certain way that's gonna help you a lot in um you know uh understanding them better as well and which is also going to bring some sort of bond that that might be missing in the current situation right now so just try doing that as well and you know it, it doesn't have to be applicable in your love life only it can be in other areas of your life as well try to awaken your empathy there uh let's see the other two oracle cards <clears throat> be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible number 40 meditation at night time is going to be very fruitful for you uh Especially if you could do it in the open, like maybe in the balcony, maybe in the, in uh, you know, if uh, if you have a rooftop, you can do that there. If you can go out in the park, in the lawn, in the garden, you can do that over there as well. Um, try to have at least five to ten minutes time every single day from now onwards to meditate, 
visualize your 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 yourself your your ideal self in the future what is it that you see yourself doing what is it that you desire to see yourself doing in the coming month in the coming year maybe uh just just think of that and don't think of like how is it going to happen the current circumstances are totally against it or opposite to that no you don't have to think that just think of what you want what is it that you see your future self doing what is the ideal uh you know imagery that you can have in your mind about you having fun with your with your love with your love with your life partner with your family uh abundance that you seek uh, what what is it that you see your future self doing try to have a video clip of that in your mind and hold that video clip in your mind for five to ten minutes keep playing that video keep playing that video until unless you start feeling as if that's you know that's you in that visual and you are living that beautiful life that you see for for yourself be that with the specific someone be that with the you know with your family kids whatever it is that you desire just think of that it's going to help you a lot bringing that visual that you are holding in your mind for five to ten minutes every day into your reality sooner and effortlessly try doing that it's going to help you a lot manifesting a dream of yours uh becoming your reality action speak loudly express your love through actions it's very important for you to be expressive uh in terms of uh you know whatever you see whatever you uh whatever you want to say to a person try to express it you know even if you feel like you know you don't want to say it it's time for you to express it through your actions that yes you care yes you love um now i feel like you know for some of you maybe it's time for you to um love yourself as well like you know if you love yourself that's going to be the impression that you're going to put out to the people around you you really have to show love to yourself give all the love that you want to receive from others to yourself first and then see them doing exactly the same to your to you as well so if if you always complain that you know the person doesn't love you or they don't you know do things that that makes you feel special maybe you know you yourself is not doing that to yourself right now so you really have to start doing that the people who love themselves always attract the right kind of people so just be mindful of that as well um for some of you maybe i feel like you know you are in that zone or that phase of your life where you want to see a person's action towards you than words because maybe you are tired of you know uh, especially when it comes to love and relationships maybe you have struggled a lot now you know that yes i want actions more than anything else so you are not going to settle in for less than that and if you have been settling in for less than that the universe is really asking you to dream big and uh, set your goals high dream high dream big and um, have a firm belief that yes you can have that you know you can you deserve that one wish fulfilled and um just know that you deserve somebody who proves it to you with with their action that yes they deserve you yes they value you yes they love you so you really have to be in that zone where you are loving yourself that's how you attract a person who loves you and values you and shows you with their world, uh, with their actions not with their words that yes they love you too so uh be mindful of that for some of you maybe you really have to basically take control back in your hands of your life and value yourself more more than anything else right now let's see what the other uh, oracle cards has to add angel therapy um give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens it's time for you to heal uh whatever it is that has been burdening you whatever it is that has been bothering you lately it's time for you to let that worry goes to the nature let the angels take care of it um i would suggest you to write a letter to your god whatever it is that is bothering you right now just write it down on a piece of paper and just give it to god how do you give it to god just just uh, you can do two things um flow that paper or letter in the running water the water has to be clean river water beach sea or uh, canal whatever it is that running or flowy water you can you can you know uh flow that piece of paper there um or you can always bury it in uh, in a in a what we call it uh, a garden you know a garden which is like not the 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 backyard of your house no 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 not that a garden which is like you know huge abundant and all those things you can do that as well it's up to you how how you want to do it but yes you can do that i i usually you know uh suggest two things uh bury it in a uh, park or some somewhere where you know you can uh, see abundance be that in running water be that in you know uh um park 
So the other message is outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with your nature uh, to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. For some of you, maybe maybe you have been staying home a lot lately and it's time for you to, you know, go out and be about. Like, you know, spend some time close to nature, spend some time uh, doing things that, that would basically get you busy mentally so you don't overthink about things which are not working well for you right now. It is just going to bring you some sort of a, a busy routine maybe. Maybe you can have a habit or a routine of uh, going to the park, spending some time in the nature, you know, just have a walk there and um, try to connect yourself with the God that you believe in. Try to connect with the nature and um, talk to it. It's, it's like the most beautiful therapy that you can give to yourself. So if you cannot go outside because of the you know corona situation and all, maybe you can uh, you can always close your eyes, sit in wherever you want to sit, and imagine yourself walking out in the park, you know whatever it is, walking on a track, walking in in the park, in the grassy field, whatever it is that you want to imagine, Ima imagine that and connect yourself to that nature that you could see, feel around you, the smell of grass and everything. Just do that if you can't go out. And for those of you who have been single for quite some time and you really want somebody in your life, maybe you have been staying home a lot. Maybe it's time for you to connect with lots of people. In that situation, if you cannot go out, you can always like, you know, you know, go to social media uh, websites, which, which can help you to, to get to know, you know, different people, new people. So you could connect to them and feel uh, as if you have found your, your new tribe, maybe. So just do that as well. Just break free from uh, an old habit uh, that was limiting you in one day or the other. Let's see more cards here. Protection, guardian, drop your shields. For some of you, maybe you have your guards up against something. Um, maybe it's, uh, you know, for, for again, for the people who, uh, who are basically advised to go out, maybe. Maybe you have your guards up against something. You really have to put the guards down. Uh, have faith something good is going to happen. Have faith that uh, you are not going to get hurt again. So if that's something which stops you from maybe mingling with people or, you know, uh, you have negative uh, mindset around love and relationships, it's time for you to stop thinking positive. Drop the old negative beliefs and go about it. <clears throat> Son, enjoy success and happiness. It's time for you to become happy, basically, you know, and uh, whatever makes you happy, do that. More of it, more of it, more of it. Until unless it becomes your your uh, new state of being, happiness and success. Feel it coming from within you and let it, you know, spread out. Let's see more cards. A new start is coming. New moon. I would suggest you do, you know, the, the coming new moon, when the new moon comes up, um, whatever it is that you want to manifest, Set your intention around the new moon time and let it become your reality by the full moon time. You can use the moon cycle. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, you can always use the moon cycles to make your wishes come true as well. Like, you know, new moon to the full moon time. You can always have a wish fulfilled if you act upon it uh, the right way. You know, if you know how to manifest, then only. You can use the moon cycle, which is going to be very helpful for you as well. A personal issue reaches resolution. If you have been having a personal issue, be that uh, regarding your health, be that about your mental health, be that about the relationship situation, be that about career situation, I feel like you, know, you will be able to find a solution to that. Um, and I feel with a personal issue, it seems like you know the issue that you're having right now, it uh, the answer to or the, the solution to that issue is lying within you. There is something that you are doing wrong around it. So try to figure it out. Go within, talk to yourself, talk to your higher self, seek guidance, from your higher self and let it bring you the guidance that you want maybe you are blocking the path maybe you are the one who is blocking the intuition or the messages coming from the god as well try to be receiving uh, on the receiving end for the messages to um to come to you easily and try to be open to um and receptive to those messages maybe for some reasons maybe you uh you have the inner calling and you are neglecting that because of your own fear maybe so just go with that Go with the inner calling. Or you can always meditate and uh, seek guidance by saying, what is the next thing I need to do or what action do I need to take to have what I desire? You can use that phrase too. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Meditation and prayers should be your uh, new way of being. 
It's going to help you a lot in every area of your life. Um, when it comes to the time, I would suggest you to at least give 5 to 10 minutes time for yourself to, to meditate on a specific area of your life. Uh, I never recommend people to go for multiple areas of their life when it comes to meditation, when it comes to uh, manifestation as well. I would always suggest them to go for one thing at a time. Let that become your reality and then move on to the next thing. It's totally up to you. What is more important to you right now? Go with that first. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation and stillness. It's very important for you to listen to your heart. For some of you, I feel like you know it has been very... Uh, long since you last connected to your higher self connected to your inner self <clears throat> with prayer contemplation and stillness you can tap into that higher self of yours listen to yourself and ask yourself talk to yourself what is it that you want and let the universe know that this is what you want and let that become your reality so yeah that's pretty much it coming for you for this reading if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading personal guidance around this situation you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till later the next reading for you guys take care bye bye